Hello and welcome. My name is Leanne and in this video I am going to show you how to make a leather quiver for archery. So the quiver I'm making today is actually a commission for a customer. A while back I made two arm bases for him and now he wants a matching quiver. So in this video I am going to show you how to make the pattern, cut it out, tool it, paint it and afterwards finish it up to make the quiver. Let's begin. To start we need a pattern. The pattern that I'm making is based on measurements the client gave me. He wanted a straight tube like quiver that sits right below the hip, has a slant top and is attached with two straps. I start with the main body of the quiver, adjusting it here and there and making it so that it fits the vision I have in my head. Then I also need a pattern for the stopper at the bottom and I need two straps. I trace the pattern of the body and the stopper onto the leather and then I cut them out. Make sure your knife is very sharp when doing this. I use a strap cutting tool for making straps for my project. I adjust the tool to the right measurements and I cut along a straight edge of the leather. I cut the ends of the straps rounded and then I bevel all the edges. I won't bevel the edges where I'm going to hand stitch it together. I wet the leather and I trace along the lines where I'm going to hand stitch. I also measure out where I'm going to put my scales. And I measure at what points I need to make holes for the stitching. Then it's time to punch the holes with my diamond puncher. As you can see, it's the shape of a little diamond. I'm going to wet form a stopper for the bottom. I have to make sure that my leather is very soft. To do this I put my leather in lukewarm water and wait until all the bubbles have stopped coming out. I form the stopper by pushing and pulling until I have the right dimensions. When the piece has fully dried, I'm going to measure out where I need my holes to be. Then I punch them out with the diamond tool. Now the tooling can begin. First I strop my swivel knife and then I cut along the border of where my scales are going to be. To make sure my skills are not crooked, I'm first going to stamp them lightly with just the pressure of my fingers. When I've done the whole piece, it's time to stamp with a hammer. I go over all the skills again, but now I use my hammer to have a deeper impression. I use a baffling tool to go around the border of all the skills. I smooth this out with a little spoon, 
and then I make a nice impression all around with the border stem. I only need to finish up some scales at the border and then I'm all done with the tooling. I make some holes in the straps and where they are going to be attached. Now we can start painting with ink. My customer wanted a light, almost reddish brown for the scales, for outside the border and for all the other pieces he wanted a dark brown. So it's kind of like an ombre effect. With the circular motion of my sponge I apply all the ink onto the leather. It does look patchy at first, but trust the process. I also paint the underside of the straps and the inside of the main body in a dark brown. I apply three coats of Vaseline before I use Antique. I let this dry for quite a while. I make sure my antique is in all the nooks and crannies before I wipe it off with some paper towels. Now I need a few coats of Vaseline and I'm all finished with the painting job. I burnish the top of the quiver and the straps. When all the ink has dried, I'm starting to bend the straps. You need to do this when the leather is wet, otherwise it will break. I wet the parts that I need to bend and I slowly and steadily bend it the way I want it. I use the same technique by shaping the main body. I tie it up and when it's all dry I can start the sewing process. I hand sew all my pieces. It's too narrow for a saddle stitch so I just go back and forth with my needle. For the side stitch I can actually use a decorative stitch. I wanted a strong stitch so I started with a double loop. To get to the next hole I'll use a cross stitch.
With sanding paper I rough up the place where the straps are going to be attached. I add some glue to have a stronger bond and then I use rivets to attach the straps. I have to cut away the excess from the stopper. By doing this I expose some bare leather. I have to re-dye this and re-burnish this. I punch some holes to put rivets in to keep the straps tight. I apply leather balm to the whole piece and I buff it out. Now I am all the way finished. And that's how I made this leather quiver. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please take the time to like and subscribe to my channel. And you can comment down below on what you'd like to see me make next. Bye!